Welcome back. Um, I thought I'd quickly show you the young birds before I get onto the main topic. So we're in the young bird loft now, it's 16 by eight. We've got plenty of room in here for about 50 pigeons. Um, we've got to put some more V perches on the back of that wall and the one behind me. Uh, that's the trapping system. So it's just an aluminium ETS Sputnik. Um, really, really good traps, recommend them. That landing board will fold forward, as you can see. Um, had a good scrape out this morning because uh, decided to bath the young birds this, well, today instead of yesterday. Um, because it's better weather, as you can see, it's blazing hot sunshine out there, so birds are out there sunning themselves. I've had a bath. That's the feeder, it's just a piece of gutter in from work. Um, you basic drinker on the floor. They've got access to the aviary at all times, no matter what the weather is, because obviously you want them to you know, soak in the surroundings. The young birds with clip rings on, like that one there, um, and the blue clip rings, they're all younger babies. So we have got two different ages, that like this one here, the light checker. Um, so these are, well, it's probably half the team of 2023. Most of them are crossed between Coosters, Van and Bolts and Brass Pennings. Um, they seem to be doing the business at the moment, so uh, we'll carry on with that. The reds, so that red over there, that red there. Um, basically all the red pigeons are from a direct son of Rambo from John Anguin, paired on to a Hermacusa hen that's breadwinners for us. That's obviously gonna be a cockbird. Lovely big pigeon. Strawberry, oh, that's a red checker, the strawberry mealies at the back. Um, so that's the team of this year, well half the team, we've got some that are going to be weaned off shortly. We do keep a basket for the younger ones for a bit of refuge if they want it. Um, but that's basically, it's just a bog standard young bird section. Um, so I'll take you down to what I was going to talk about to you in the first place. So the race ends there, having a bit of sunshine. Went out this morning, 25 minute loft fly, and they'll do some training later on. We'll take them training. Um, really happy with how the hens have come. Um, roundabout is definitely the way to go, I think, to utilize the hens. Um, but they're just having a bit of sun. Nice and keen, the hens, that's how we like them. It's probably gone a bit blurry. I'll show you it from the other side. We've only got one access to this loft. There's a sliding door through to the hen section. And as you can see, all the hens are in here. Looking nice. And uh, that hen was late yesterday, so she won't be going training today. She'll uh, she'll be going tomorrow. Let her have a nice rest today. Most of these hens do race. There are some older hens because we were short of hens from young birds, but uh, we're happy with what pigeons are coming from the races. Nice and keen. So a subscriber basically asked what we do, to, well, for, for me to make a video on what we do on a, on a daily basis and what supplements we use, etc. Um, so we'll start, shall we? Nothing special, nothing special at all. Um, <clears throat> so that's the basic mix that we use for racing. The young birds are on this as well, but we'll add barley to the uh, the young birds. They'll have about 50 50. The race birds, now that they're racing, they don't have any barley at all. Um, so that is XR Woodward from Rising Cornbridge. Obviously, you can use any sort of wood wood mix you want to, as long as as long as it's good quality. I mean, it doesn't really matter what brand you use. Um, we have used Versa Lager in the past and, and Van Robies. We still probably will, but you know, Rising Bridge is is good corn. So the young birds are on that with 50% barley, and the old birds they'll get that during the week, all the way through the week until Thursday. So until Thursday. When Thursday comes, sorry, they'll be having this. That's full fat mix. So they'll be literally having that, only that on a Thursday. Uh, in the morning and the evening, they'll just be having that. Um, Van Robies do one, and so do and, um, 
Versalaga. Versalaga is Energy Plus, Van Roby's is Top Energy. That's a mixture of both of them, basically. But we'll just give them that on a Thursday, nothing heavy. So they're nice and, well, not light, but they're, um, they're not carrying too much weight um, for the for basketing and going on to the race. But for basketing, on a Friday, they'll get nothing, well, they'll have a tight handful of this. And this stuff is worth its weight in gold, <clears throat> personally. Me and my father highly recommend this. It's Sneaky Mix. Again, Van Robies and Versalaga both do a do the same style of mix. Um, just full of small seeds and you've got your mung beans in there for a bit of protein, uh, your hemp, your rapeseed, linseed, um, and a little bit of wheat. But that stuff, we'll give them a tight handful of that. So, what we got? So if we had 10 hens, they'd have about five ounces uh, a couple of hours before basketing, just to make sure they're, they're drinking nicely. Um, we will use this for the young birds as well. This is basically just before basketing this mix. We don't use it for anything else, um, but it's brilliant. It's an absolute cracking mix. I wouldn't use any, we wouldn't use anything else before basketing. So supplement wise, we don't really use much. Um, we will give grits now and again. Um, don't give grit all the time. Some people might disagree with that, but um, when you're racing, you, you don't want to be running a race with stones in your pocket. Um, but we will give them grit once a week. This stuff has got built in, well, see built in, but it's got added in pink minerals. Um, that stuff is made by Van Robies. It's a really good grit mixture. We give that to the, all the pigeons, the young birds. That's, it's in front of the stock at all times, but we're racing, they'll have it once a week. So that's the grit covered. Minerals, pink minerals, bog standard pink minerals or black minerals, good enough. Um, so that's that covered. Disinfectants, we always use Vercon S. It's brilliant stuff, we'll clean the drinkers out with that. A um, couple days a week, all the drinkers are um, disinfected with Vercon which we just literally put in a spray, a spray bottle and um, we'll disinfect everything with work on. Feeders, drinkers, um, galley pots. Um, with lice control, we always use the uh, U200. There is nothing that comes close to that stuff, but we have got obviously the, the anti-mite spray. It's good, as, as long as your anti-mite spray has permethrin in it, it's absolutely fine because that does kill lice, mites, red mites and stuff. But just for um well the sake of it being so handy and easy to use the uh the uc wonder one drop is the best on the market without a shadow of doubt um we do nasally in our pigeons some some fanciers don't use this i don't even know what it is but it's uh basically just to clear the upper wet airways uh we'll do that once a month with the pigeons uh the race birds especially and before breeding we'll uh nasaling them all uh, and in the drinker, not much goes in the drinker, to be honest. We don't use that many products. Um, apple cider vinegar, maybe a couple of days a week. And we do use garlic as well. Garlic's brilliant stuff. Um, as long as you're using the, uh, the organic cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar with the mother in it, it's, it's cheap as chips. It's like £1.20 for that bottle. And um, it lasts. It's good stuff, apple cider vinegar. It's, it's very anti-canker as well. Um, keeps the uh, the canker count down. So we use that. This stuff's brilliant as well. We've got a few multivitamins that we do use, but this stuff we find is the best one because it's it doesn't taste of anything. It doesn't color the water or anything. We do have the Toliamin 4 and we do have the Levin and 1, but we stick to this. This, this stuff's really good. Um, the pigeons <clears throat> on return from a race will have this um, two days running. Um, it's a mil per litre, but when they come back from a race, we'll put we'll put two mil per litre of water in. Um, and the, the stock birds have it as well. The young pigeons have it as well. It's really good stuff. So literally everything is so basic. There's no, um, there's no secrets or anything. Um, but that's what we do. 
pretty much. I mean, uh, like I said, it's, it's really simple and easy. And nothing's really expensive. I mean, obviously pigeon corn has gone up due to um, cost of living and stuff, but we do try and get the best we, the, the best we can for the pigeons, um, especially for the for the the um, sneaky mix. I mean, that's quite an expensive mix, but we wouldn't be without that. It's brilliant. Um, but that's it, guys. Um, anything else uh, you'd like me to do on video on? Just let me know. Um, did have a comment um, this morning saying it would be nice to see the birds coming home for a race. I would love to do that, I really would, but I've got nowhere to put the phone. I mean, I could come, I could try, I guess, um, to come up with some sort of tripod or something, but I just, it'll fall off if I just plonk it on a, on the fence post or something, but I'll try. Um, see what we can do. Anyway, um, hope you like the video. Um, Thanks for all the new subscriptions. See you soon, guys. Cheers.